I feel good when I see water and I feel sad when I don't see water. And, and to me, water is a very personal thing. And I think this is probably the biggest issue that the humanity is facing, that's the water scarcity and water availability. We have already seen warming in the past, you know, 100 years or so. Any, you know, further increase in temperature is basically going to push the system to the edge. California's unique climate consists of wet winters and dry summers. Two-thirds of all the state's water comes from the Sierra Nevada. Storms from the Pacific Ocean are trapped by the mountains, and as the clouds rise, they release rain and snow. The snowpack is very important to the water system because it melts slowly, providing a steady source of water into the dry summers. With the climate change in the places where previously we were getting most of the precipitation in the form of snow, that's most likely going to change into rain. What that means in terms of water supply is that we will not have the same amount of water stored in the snowpack as we used to in the past. And that means less water for the ecosystem and the trees and everything else in the mountains. It also means that less water for us um, in, in the valley. As part of my research, we try to measure the snowpack, we try to measure the precipitation, we try to measure the stream flow. And the goal with that is to quantify like how much water we have. And, and that would allow us basically to manage our water better. When the rain falls and the snow melts, water travels downstream and is stored in man-made reservoirs. The dams control floods generate hydropower and store water. But the cost is the restriction of the natural flow of rivers, negatively affecting many species and ecosystems. Balancing needs effectively depends on understanding the amount of water in the entire system. In California, which depends on water, which is our lifeblood, we often do not know how much water we have in the system. Probably the biggest uncertainty is how much water we have up in the snowpack. Once it's in the reservoirs, we can calculate how much is in it. And so what we're trying to tie in with our wireless sensor network is actually give real-time data on how much snow is up there, also some information about how it's melting. And then we are hoping that we can start operating dams, not just for flood control, but also for maximizing the amount of water that we actually can store. And that's what UC Water is all about. Reconnecting the snow to replenishing the groundwater in the Central Valley. California's Central Valley is a geological wonder and contains vast amounts of groundwater and aquifers. These aquifers store 17 times as much water as all of the man-made reservoirs combined. So one of the significant challenges, not just with the drought, but in overall California water management strategy is how to deal with the San Joaquin. And here we stand in the San Joaquin Valley, uh, which benefits from that infrastructure. The, you know, quite frankly, the food that grows um, from the water that's flowing is about half of the nation's fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unfortunately, we've been relying heavily on groundwater to continue growing these crops, and that's created a number of problems. One, we're not recharging that groundwater, certainly not at the rate that we need to in, in order to sustain the resource. But secondly, this area is also prone to subsidence. So the ground is actually compacting over time and we're losing the ability to recharge that in the future. And it's creating problems for our built infrastructure. Uh, so gravity fed aqueducts, for example, are no longer functioning the way that they used to. The University of California Merced is the 10th and newest campus of the University of California system. And it's a really profound opportunity for us to change how the San Joaquin Valley looks. And I'm super excited that UC Water students are starting to address these problems. One of the more innovative ones in my mind is, is using geographical information systems to be able to assess how much water is being used by agriculture and whether we can perhaps make different choices. I think we're developing tools that'll be used by others, hopefully in the San Joaquin, but also throughout the state. And that's really gonna help us make informed decisions going forward. And for me, it isn't just more data, it's better data, and that leads to better decisions.